up ladies and gentlemen it is the gamer nerd here and i'm here with um another video of minecraft and today i'm basically going to show you guys um you know not a lot but some different things you can do with a command block like how to get how to get the command block and how to do some different commands with the command block right so yeah this is the same world that i show off that um that glitch the duplication glitch but here i'll be showing you off of the different commands now i changed my controls right so instead of the um, the right on the d-pad it's a touchpad for me but for you guys it'll be right on the d-pad and basically this will pull up right so you got chat and commands if you just do this and say like hi and then hit enter like r2 done and then square you know it basically you know it like if any players um, were in your world, they will see that. Um, but, you know, that's that. Uh, this little dash line right here, you click that, and that's, like, the easy stuff. Like, if you got to teleport. So, basically, I don't have anybody else in this world, but basically you would do who, and you would click your name or somebody else's name. If you want to teleport to a player, then you would be, you would click yourself, and then where, you would click the other person. Or, if you want to teleport somebody to you, you click them, and then where to um, you. And then you hit enter, which is R2, or um, um, I, th I believe it's RB for Xbox. It's the bottom bumper. It's where, um, you know, like you're typing here. Um, well, I didn't mean to do that. Like you're typing, and you hit R2, you know, done. And then you hit square. Um Okay, you have been teleported to Zombie Fireball. Tele okay, whatever. That was stupid. Whatever. Yeah, uh, you can uh, do the time. Wait, what happened? Always day, always days enabled. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the reason why is I put um, I changed my settings where there's no uh, daylight cycle, and then weather. You can change that. So that's that right there. The little squiggly line. This that brings up right here, but you hit the. Okay, this is the chat settings, like the font, the whatever, that little setting, little icon. But right here, to start the commands, well, to get the command block, first of all, I don't know too much of the command block. The command block is just something like, okay, so first, you always want to start every command like this. You see this slanted line right here? Click that, and you'll automatically see, let me put this over here, you can automatically see that it kind of shows you what you can kind of do and you can type in like G and then kind of narrows down of what different things you can do like the difficulty uh, but you could do um, you know summon even so okay let's get the command block so you're gonna do give then you're gonna hit triangle zombie fireball which is me alright so just like that um, the right here the, the slant line and the give, do not space that. But after give, space, then your name, your username, then space again. Now you can already see, you know, hey, you want arrows, you could spawn some arrows with you. You can hit like W, then it narrows it down um, and stuff like that. Uh, you could get this barrier block, which is cool. I'm going to show you guys that really fast. But you could get this barrier, like you were doing a map. So then you hit square, and you, then you got it. It's so like, I don't know, like if you're doing like a, a little map and some, somewhere's out of bounds, um, see, you can see it right now, right? But now if you switch out of that, if you're not holding on to it, you can't see it. So, so you can kind of see the invisible blocks right there. Nobody else can see it. The, the only person who sees it is whoever's holding on to the barrier block. So yeah, that's pretty cool. See, I even dropped it and I pick it back up. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, another command we could do, right? So I always start with the dash, little slanted line, whatever, thingamajigs, not dash. All right, give, and then we're going to do command block this time. Oh, oh no, no, excuse me. We, yeah, yeah, command block, but we got to hit zombie fireball, um, and then command. Command. And as you can see, there is underscore in some of these, so command. And then you hit triangle and L2. At the same time, if you're on PlayStation, um, and make sure you put the underscore just like that right next to it, and then command block. 
just like that command block hit enter you got it see there's the command block right there and then you go up to it and this is basically I don't know the chain and the repeat I really don't know that stuff guys um but like this is how you get it and uh, needs redstone and delayed and ticks and all this other stuff um, and we could do hold on a minute we could we could do this you guys are gonna like this if if it works I don't know if I'm doing it right oh no excuse me here we go okay um, did it work Wait, what happened to it I can't even move Dude, this thing jump scares me. Like, what's... Okay, that was weird. Alright, see? I I don't know if it's gonna work. So... You know, I gotta turn this thing down. Basically, you can activate this many different ways, but you just hit the lever. See? Okay, it worked. See? You can do redstone, just any type of like a little wiring, you know, you can put a lever right here and then click it. And then it could summon like a zombie, um, it could give you a shield, or just stepping on a pl uh, pressure plate. And uh, maybe like, I don't know, you can set where it spawns five zombies, right? Um, it's like um, like a chain. Okay, you probably don't want to do that with the Ender Dragon. I mean, please don't do that. Where did it... I don't know where it went. It flew that way. Whatever. Okay. So you can summon the Ender Dragon. You don't need the command block. Okay. You can, if you're sitting here, you know, um, um, a really good thing like World Edit, you can do that too, um, with Phil. So at okay, for that to work, right? Go to Settings. This is important. Go to Settings. Hit Pause. Go to Settings. Go to Game. Go down and hit Show Coordinates. Put that to the right, and now you got these, right? You got the coordinates. Now, you're going to need a little notepad. Let's just say, okay, you want this, I don't know, all dirt right here, right? Cobblestone, whatever. So basically, what you want to do, the, the, the easier way to do this is, right, come to here. Maybe like this block right here. Um, let's just place that command block for now, because I got to know... What level we're on I might mess this up as I might um, the block might be above but whatever um, you know to be safe I don't know to be safe we're gonna be right there right so we want to fill in this so 62 that middle number is the the height right that middle number um, and I forgot the left and the right so write it down okay write it down whatever corners you want right this is just for example purposes so you got two, three, nine, eight, um, sixty-two, and then sixteen fifty-five, right? I wrote it down. Okay, you got that. Um, and basically, let's say, eh, come right here, right to this area, um, to right here, right, um, and. As you're standing here, all right. Click the thing. Bring up your your um, command. Do the slant of line, and then do fill, right? Fill, space. Put the coordinates in. So it's gonna be 2398 space. You only have to do the comma. 62 space. 16. 55 space now what you want to do since your character moved and you're on the you're still on uh, 62 three squiggly lines right what that means that the three squiggly lines me means your current position right so it, it starts from those coordinates the 2398 62 1655 to where we're currently at space and then if you did it right that um the blocks and stuff like that should start showing up right so let's just do cobblestone okay so right here 
All right, it's already coming up. Cobblestone. Like I said, some you need underscores, but don't matter. So hit enter, done, and then square. Boom. You see that? 243 blocks done in just a second. Yep, just like that, guys. You got yourself a little cobblestone platform just like that. I mean, that's I mean, that's really um a, that's like one of the coolest um commands because if you want to fill in something especially like the ocean if you're trying to make an island and you're sick of like sitting here trying to fill in like you know from here coming all the way back and everything else make it a little bit um you know thicker of a surface guys you can legitly fill in like you can come down here right um you can come down here now however hold on how would i do this now um, 60, so we were on 62, so 61, um, we could possibly do. Let's just see. So 61, or no, 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 let's do 60. All right, 60, right? So let's do this, and then put it back on. And then now, it, you know, you should add this auto thing, so, like, it's pretty easy. You do the same coordinates, 23, 98, 62, um, 1655, three squiggly lines, cowstone. I mean, it legitly, like, doesn't get hard or anything, get harder. Um, so, there we go. Well, we didn't, okay, my bad. I didn't go as far back, but as you can kind of see, we made it a little bit thicker. I can't tell how many blocks. Okay, so we made th three blocks right there, um, thickness. So, I mean, guys, that's, it's really cool, um, we can do with this and you can do it with so many different things you can do it with dirt you don't have to do it with cobblestone any block you want even barriers blocks like you can do whatever you want that's a little bit of the commands that um i kind of found really cool i don't know all of them okay um i don't know what the whole connect thing i know there's one where it's like what was it um locate all right let's do this one right locate um space so locate um let's just do village okay because that's probably the most popular village um and then just hit square and then it tells you the nearest village is block 3000 uh the y is unknown 3000 hold on a minute Okay, I got pulled up. 3,144 and 536. So that's pretty far away. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to whatever um, since I'm recording. But as you can kind of see right there, it gives you the nearest village in the coordinates. Uh, like I said, the Y is the height. So who cares about that? But like 3,144 and 536. So you want to go this way and then this way. See? Biz, the first number is rising up in 3,000, what was it again? 3,144 and the 536. So you'll be going that way and you will find the village. All right, so it kind of helps you, you know, just different commands just like that. Uh, like I said, I don't know them all, but I figured like that fill one is really cool. Just like, I just made like, what, 400 blocks in a second, dude? Like that is insane. Um, if you go too far out, it won't work. Like, if you go, like, all the way over here, I don't think it's going to work. I mean, you can try. Like, I'll try right now. But I think this is too far. Uh, but, like I said, we can try, I guess. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, that, okay, never mind. It worked. Okay, so we just filled in 332 more blocks. So we got, like, a whole, like freaking golden gate bridge forming over here you know but my next stream just make sure you have those notifications on and um i'll be streaming streaming probably tomorrow if not i'm pushing towards thursday for sure um and as um cross play goes uh i can't get it to work guys i have a microsoft account i i logged in correct and everything else and didn't even say the password was wrong or anything and it's having like it keeps saying error when i try signing in to my microsoft account on minecraft you know, no everything's connected everything's correct and it's not it micro minecraft won't connect to my microsoft account 
on this. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to keep trying, but I don't know. But that's about it, guys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And this is The Gamer Nerd. I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful Monday, everybody. I'll see you next one. Peace out.